What's going on everybody? It is Wild Willie and today we're out here fiddling around with this new crossbow and there's three dots in the scope and I was kind of curious look at all my shots we'll go over here number lane four but I was kind of curious what the dots exactly are and how the zeroing actually takes an effect on this crossbow and wind and that kind of stuff so we're going to start off right here on target number four we're zeroed at 10 10 meters so 10 meters should be about right here yeah close enough close enough so 10 meters is going to be our first pin perfect so to figure out let's let's make it interesting what is our second pin gonna be so we drop back another 10 meters right here so we should be at 20 meters yep 20 meters right here so our second pin if we're zeroed at 20 will be for 20 meters so each pin has a 10 meter increment so 30 meters should be about right here ah, give or take we're a little high a little high but hey it's still gonna be in the kill shot but let's take a look yeah we're two meters short so 30 meters is the farthest it'll be accurate on the dots for zeroed at 10 meters so let's go ahead change up the target real quick all right so i put it on the 150 meter target i haven't shot at that one yet so it'll make it a little bit easier for you guys to see the arrows and everything else like that but as far as i can tell as you guys can see i've shot a lot of arrows and i'm not sure why they're glitched right here like this but i haven't found anything with wind resistance nothing like that so we're on 30 meter zeroing as of right now let's go ahead and get a good reload real quick so with that being said at 30 meters it'll be zeroed our first crosshair will be a 30 meter perfect shot let's get to our 30 meter mark which should be roughly like right about here all right so with us being zeroed at 30 meters right here should roughly be 30 meters so with that being said, our first dot will be absolutely dead nuts at 30 meters. A little low, a little low, but not horrible. So with that one being zeroed at 30, let's double check real quick. We should be at 30. Yeah, we're a little under 30. So with the next dot, we should be at 40. Let's go back a little bit. Oh, went a little bit too far. Right about here. All right. So now we're zeroed at 40. With that being said, our second dot should be our 40 mark, and it is. Bingo, bango, 10 increments is how this crossbow scope is going to work for us. So let's push it back to 50. Let's keep seeing if our... Let's keep let's keep checking to make sure we, we know our crossbow before we head out and hunt. So this next one, so we zeroed 30, 40, now we're at 50 mark. Bingo, bango, that is a dead animal. That's a heart shot all day long. If you hit it anywhere in that red area, that is going to be a dead animal. So with our last zeroing, we're actually going to be at 50. So let's go ahead and get, move back to 50 meters and try and see what we can do. All right, we're stepping up to target three. This is roughly 50 meters away. We're zeroed at 50. So once again, first dot is going to be 50 all day. Yep, all day. All day. I don't... I even... I've hunted some with the crossbow and I've been shooting at the range here for a little while and I really have not noticed anything to do with the wind at all. So, I mean, it, it could, maybe the bolt's traveling so fast. So maybe once we stretch our range just a little bit, we'll go ahead and find, find out if wind comes into effect. So we just zeroed at 50. Let's scoot back. All right. Whoa, a little bit too far there, friends. All right. So we're at 60 now. So that should be our second pin. I'd probably hit the board if I did that. So let's go ahead and take a crack at it. All right, pretty close. Pretty close right there. I was a little shaky. I wish I could crouch. We're gonna try crouch. All right, so 60, 60 meters is a little high. A little high, so you know, your 60 could be 60 to 65. So we know we can go 60. So our next test is 70. So let's get lined up. About 70 meters right about there. So 
Theoretically, this crossbow should be able to stretch 70 meters and hit accurate without a problem. Just with the scope itself. Whoa, 70 shoots a little high. Okay, so 60 and 70 meters has been the only difference so far. Let's take another shot. Yeah, same exact spot it hit. So we're hitting a little high at 70. Go back a couple more meters. How far are we here? We're at about 80. 80 is going to be a little bit... Nah, we'll try it. We're 79 meters. 80? Just about 80 meters is that bottom crosshair. So with that being said, you should be able to put a good shot on an animal at 80 meters just using the circles in your scope. So definitely zeroing is a big part in using this new crossbow, and I'm absolutely loving, loving this crossbow. Let's go ahead and take a real quick real quick shot at a hundred and see what we can do all right not quite you know what we're gonna go all the way back over here we're gonna pick up the 100 meter target and see where 100 meters is on our scope so let's go ahead and figure it out together guys so i'm gonna go back over here pick up my targets reset everything and start shooting all right we got our 100 meter target up and ready so we're gonna zero at 50 so we know that bottom one was about 80 let's go over to target eight real quick Target 8 has not been shot at yet. All right. Let's go ahead and take a shot. I'm just going to... Oh, it has been shot. I don't know why that hadn't run her in before. But anyways, we're going to go with right here. Ooh. We hit in the fifth ring at 100 meters with this bottom line. Do it again. See, okay, okay, we're shooting pretty low at 100 meters, just using that as a reference. So it's going to be somewhere in the ballpark of under that. Let's put it, where did that one, okay, okay, so we hit in between 8 and 7, and we put that top bar right on the top of that black. So let's go with one line above black, and that that's a kill shot right there. Okay, so... Basically, at this range, you're going to want to aim for like a spine if we're going for a 100-meter shot with the crossbow, which could come in handy for some people who want to stretch their limits. And at 100 meters with the crossbow, even with the wind blowing slightly left, as you guys can tell from the scorecard, the arrows didn't fluctuate other than probably about a half, eh, maybe an inch left and right. So I don't think really wind is taking a big effect on this crossbow, you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this little little guide on knowing your crossbow and getting used to the scope and that kind of stuff helps you out. So until next time, you guys, enjoy the crossbow, and we'll see you guys out there.